So as I sit here with my tea and my timeout wafer chocolate biscuit, let me speak to the React developers who have done a bunch of TypeScript and Redux. Now I myself, most of the last couple of years, I've been doing TypeScript with Redux. But when I come to think about it, I have to write so much boilerplate code that really the size of apps that I'm making, TypeScript and Redux isn't really that necessary. And it's pretty much just added bloat to the code base. Even the most complicated app that I've worked on, which in fact didn't use Redux, was okay. I managed just with TypeScript and um, various other libraries. So when you come to Svelte, there isn't really strong TypeScript support and um, of course not even Redux. But you know, I don't think that it's really a, a deal breaker. So as long as you are clever about how you use variables, things like that, then we should be all right. So that said, let's go and look at some of the stuff that normally you do use with um, Redux. And uh, let's, uh, let's look at it. So we've got this, this tags list here. Let me click JavaScript. This is a component here and it fires off some custom event, which then also some of the information is passed along on other parts of this components. So the tag list comes from Google Cloud Functions through this get all tags method. So what that does is it goes through every article and extracts the tag list and then what it does is that it deduplicates any tags and returns an object which is then rendered. Um, the official site actually sorts out by the most popular tags but in this implementation we're just returning all unique tags. So unfortunately it does look a bit like that. And actually, as this database grows, then if you have like the 100,000 articles or even just 1,000 articles with all these tags, having to sort through it and filter it, it's going to be an interesting performance trick. So I'm not sure what the best way to do that is, but um, as I think about it, I will certainly um, make my, my points heard. So anyway, in terms of the Svelte app, we have some um, tags object that sits at the home component and then there's various ways that the information is passed back and forth between um, the various parts of this application here. So let's look at the, the home page on the, the Svelte side of things. So here we have um, the tag component that's implemented and that renders it here like that. And if you just click on tags, you can see that we rendered it down here. Now this component also has this uh, tags object here that's passed in and then there's a, a, a select um, event that comes from tags which calls this set tags function here. So let's just go and uh, put some breakpoints in. Okay so we have our home component which can encapsulate this here and we have the main view and the, the tags. So let's look at the main view which is this index and this index here in the main view folder. So we can see that we have some properties that we've exported which gets set on the menu passing component in. We have this thing called tab and tag. And uh, obviously if this, if this session is logged in, then we have a your feed option here. And um, <clears throat> if there's a tag variable, we display this component here. This, uh, what's called italic JavaScript or whatever you click on. So all we do is just uh, put some breakpoints in. And our tags here, we're just rendering over all the tags. And then as, if we click on a tag, we have, uh, we're dispatched the select event. And that's a custom event that we create with just having to import this from the framework. Um, and that's just how you do these custom events. And when they click here, the select will fire off this on select and uh, the set, set tags here, this will be executed. And when that's set, then this automatically binds to the tag in here, which will then display it here. So let's just click on this. So immediately, we just come in from this event. Um, I haven't, I'm not sure if we can debug this, I'll try it. Um, if you want to debug also, I, I log things to the console as like a, a variable, you can just do like debug like that. So we come in here with the um, the event, 
and uh, this is this is the tag, and that's set, and then that will be rendered inside of um, inside of here, which I don't see. Um, why did that happen? Let's try that again. Click, click, click this. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure why that happened, but uh, you can see that it works when you're not debugging things. Um, and that's what that, that's all that is. That's how you can share data amongst components. Not very Reduxy, I know, but you know we're still developing these patterns, and it remains to be seen how easy it is to work with this sort of exporting let variables and that kind of stuff. So that, in a sense, is is what I just wanted to talk about with the tags. Um, and we'll go on to the next video soon. Okay, bye bye.